Gospel of Matthew chapter 15. The lady comes up to Jesus crying out, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. Now this is a great thing to say to Jesus. Really the way to approach our Lord. All over the Gospels you see people interact with Jesus in this way, and they come away with what Jesus offers. Blind people receive sight, lepers get cleansed, people riddled with sin are forgiven. They pray, Lord, have mercy, and Jesus has mercy. He always does. But this time he's silent, and this never happens. What happens when the Lord of mercy is silent? We could say Jesus is acting on Jesus' level. Why is he not acting for her? Yes, she's a Canaanite, descendant of the evil and idolatrous enemies of God. Yes, the family's been playing with demonic fire, and they've gotten burned. Daughter has a demon. Yes, Jesus is not a vending machine. Put two bucks in and get your Kit Kat out. Yes, she's coming from idolatry. You can't get cured off that with a tour of the campus and a trip through the gift shop. She needs that dirt road catechesis. He's got to slice and dice what needs to be sliced and diced. Yes, Jesus wants her in the kingdom for the long haul, not just two hot minutes after she gets her miracle. Yes, he's going to work out his salvation within the borders of Israel, not in Canaan. But she's calling him the, the anointed one, the son of David. She's saying more than the Israelites are saying at this point. And he says it's not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dog, so he's calling her a dog. Now, it's a small dog in Greek, so like a, the little yappy kind you carry around at the bank, but she's still calling him a dog, and she agrees with him. She says, yes, even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. So she agrees. I don't deserve what you give, but I know you're still here for me. She didn't allow her experience to rule her life. She didn't trust her feelings or her brain. She trusts that Jesus was who they said he was, a Messiah of mercy, not only for Jew, but also for Gentile. We believe that, even though there are things in this life that seem otherwise. Don't grab for Jesus on the basis of your feelings or your thinking or your experience. Grab him on the basis of God's word, according to his eternal promise to be merciful to sinners. God is acting mercifully for you, even when it doesn't seem like it. It's a good thing that how we feel has nothing to do with how well God is doing. No one felt good on Good Friday, where he fell silent in death and bought your salvation. But God was acting mercifully when everybody thought he was done acting mercifully. You can be so confident of what he has done for you at the cross that it, when, when it seems as if he has fallen silent, you can still hear him. Listen to the resounding echo of his word in your baptism. His words, you are his beloved child. Listen to the scriptures that proclaim Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Listen to his words at his altar where you get far more than crumbs. You receive the very risen body and forgiving blood of the King of Kings. He has plenty of mercy for you, so much that there's mercy also for your neighbor.